Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on variables uh, with the BBC Microbit microcontroller. Let's jump right in. So, um, the the a variable is sort of a programming concept, programming structure. So when you uh, when you code with computers, you're going to end up using variables. And pretty much no matter what programming language you're using, you're going to end up doing something with variables. So pretty important concept. Now, a variable is a way for a computer to remember a value. And then the computer can update that value over time. Uh, so I'm going to start by showing you uh, like a number variable. Um, but even before I show you that, I'm going to do something here. Uh, put, I'm going to put in this forever loop and I'll show a number. We'll start with showing the number zero. I'm gonna use a simulator. You can see we uh, the microbit's just showing the number zero, no problem. And if I were to go in and change the code uh, and then run the run it, uh, the you can see the microbit's now showing one. That all makes sense. Shouldn't be anything new. Uh, we're just displaying some values. Now, the thing about variables is it allows you to have the computer store a value, and then we can have the computer read that value and use it in the program. It's a little bit hard to explain, but let me just show you what I mean. So we have variables. Oh, and let me grab my on start block because we're going to need that. Now, to, to use a variable, first, the computer has to set it to a initial value. Now, I'm going to rename this variable because M is a terrible variable name. Uh, let me use the word count. Okay, now the computer, when it gets to this command, what it's gonna do is create a kind of space in its memory and it's gonna give that space the name count. And in that space, it's going to put the number zero. So. Uh, you can think of count sort of like a container for a value, and initially the computer is going to put the value zero in that container. Then what I can do is use that variable value in place of a number elsewhere in my code. So pretty useful stuff. Now uh, you can see it's a um, microbit's already uh, done the, the program. I'm going to start it one more time. So first, as soon as I hit the play button, the microbit sets the value uh, of the variable count to zero. And then it uses that value in this show number command. So instead of the word count here, the computer is going to read, oh, this is a variable, and then it's going to use the value from that variable, in this case, zero. And if I were to change that value to one, when the computer, uh, when the computer, rather the microbit, runs that code, instead it's going to use the value one there. It's kind of similar to what you saw before, just extra steps. You might be wondering to yourself, why would you ever do it this way? It seems like it's way more work than it should be. <laughs> and you're probably right. But the cool thing about using variables is that we can actually have the computer modify that value as well. So this is kind of, kind of cool. Now I've got two event blocks, one for when the, uh, when someone presses the A button on the micro bit and one for when someone presses the B button on the micro bit. And I'll go back into the variables, and you can see we have this change change block. If I change count by one, when someone presses the A button, what do you think will happen? Or and what if I changed the count by negative one, subtracted one from it? Now, the computer is going to set that initial value to zero. And now we're in, now the computer's in this forever loop. It's just showing that count number. But what happens if I press A? Ooh. Now the computer is modifying the value of that variable called count. And so when the computer gets to this command, it's no longer going to show zero because the computer has modified the variable value. It changed it by one, changed it by one again, changed it by one again, and now I can change it by negative one too. <laughs> we get down into negative numbers and we have to scroll for it. Um, I'm gonna add another input. We'll do A plus B. I can, and then I can have the 
computer set the count back to zero in A plus B. All right, let's computer run that. And there's my A plus B button in the simulator. Get up to seven and then A plus B, back to zero. That's, uh, that's variables. Now, there's so many ways to use variables and uh, just barely scratching the surface. Uh, but if you can kind of hold on to the idea that a variable is a container that holds a value and then the computer can read that value or modify that value, um, that's, those are the basics and you're gonna extend from there. So many cool ways to use variables and I can guarantee you that uh, you can find <laughs> more information about this uh, by following the links in the description. There's a ton of information out there for you to, to try out. If you're having any problems with this or you have questions about variables, please let us know. We would love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.